Buenos dias from beautiful sunny Madrid today. We have been in Spain for officially one week now, which is, it feels like it's been a lot longer, but in a good way. And we're feeling finally really settled. We have a good, this is our little um, Spain apartment, a kitchen, and we've been having a really good time like learning how to cook and do everything here. And today we are actually gonna venture out to eat though. And the minute that we found out we were coming to Madrid, I booked us a reservation for the oldest restaurant in the world, which has kind of blown up online. Lately, I think like tons of you guys sent me this, um, but I already had reservations. And so we are gonna go check it out. It is going to be a carnivore's dream on the type of meat that they have. So make sure you stick around. I'll also take you along as we check out the palace and some of the other sites in Madrid today. Before we go though, I am going to have some electrolytes. This video is sponsored by Element, which is the electrolyte drink mix that we use every day. So yesterday we actually went to the El Retiro Park and walked around, the kids played with a soccer ball, and we just spent like hours outside in the sun. And by the time we got home, we were all so thirsty. I didn't take any electrolytes with us beforehand. And we were having water while we were out, but sometimes just water doesn't actually quench that thirst, especially when you're eating low carb or carnivore, unless you're adding a salt-based electrolyte. And so today I'm gonna to load us all up. I'm gonna put a half a pack of this grapefruit element in my 24 ounce water. And then I'm actually gonna take the other half of the packet and mix it in the kids' waters as well so they can have a little extra hydration. I love the unflavored version, which is just sodium, magnesium, and potassium, and it doesn't have any sweeteners, but since I'm not having any diet soda or anything here in Spain, I've been enjoying some of the flavored versions, which are sweet with stevia as well. Element has a deal for all my subscribers where you can get a free sample pack with your purchase and you can go to drinkelement.com slash laurasbath and they have a 100% money back guarantee so they'll make sure that you get one that you love. Ice is very hard to come by here in Spain and from all of Europe from my understanding, so I'm just gonna mix this with water and shake it up. Okay, you guys ready to go? Yes. yes. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Do we look European? <laughs> I don't think so. No. We're trying. Our apartment is actually on the eighth floor of our building, and there is an elevator, but we're trying to take the stairs as much as possible. So we always take them down, and we try to take them up. The metro system here in Madrid is really convenient and affordable, so for the three months that we're here, we don't have a vehicle and we're just taking public transportation. It's very safe also. Our apartment is near the office where I work every day in the Salamanca, Goya area, and so with just about a 10 minute train ride, we can be downtown to the Plaza Mayor and the Palace and all of the main attractions of Madrid. My kids are very suburban kids and are used to the cookie cutter area of Gilbert, Arizona. And so this has been a really fun place to explore a lot more of a metropolitan city in a very safe environment. In the short time that we've been here so far, one of our favorite things to do is just to walk around and check out all of the beautiful architecture and just this incredible environment. We spent some time exploring around the Plaza Mayor, which is one of the most popular things to see in Madrid. But because of that, a lot of the restaurants and shops are all really overpriced and geared towards tourists. So if you happen to come and you're looking for a good meal, venture outside of the plaza. Next, we took about a 10 minute walk over to the Royal Palace and the Royal Cathedral. Just to look around, there's some really gorgeous views. This was a beautiful Sunday morning and the weather was perfect, so it was fun just to spend some time enjoying the sights of Madrid as a family. Our reservation today for the oldest restaurant in the world, which is called Botine, is at one o'clock on a Sunday, which 
The only reason we were able to get that reservation, because they're usually booked out months and months in advance, is because it's one o'clock on a Sunday. I booked it weeks ago as soon as we found out we were going to be coming to Spain, but one o'clock on a Sunday is not a very popular time for Spaniards to be eating. Um, they usually do lunch between 2 and 4 p.m. and then most restaurants close from 4 until 8 30 p.m. and then dinner starts around like nine o'clock at night so that meal schedule has been an adjustment for us but we're going to enjoy the fact that we get to go to this restaurant today for lunch <laughs> I am surprised at how quickly we've adapted to the late dinners and just the later schedule in general. At home, we always eat a huge lunch and that's Chris's only meal for the day. And we've really have not ever just eaten dinner as a family together. So that has been a big adjustment. Um, and you know what, with the schedule that we're on with my work schedule and the kids stuff going on, we have found that we just don't have time to eat dinner until eight o'clock in the U S the kids go to bed around eight, but here it's, at least 10 o'clock before they go to bed and Chris and I are up till midnight and then your day just starts later the next day. So it's been an adjustment, but not as hard as I thought it was gonna be. Restaurant Botine was founded in 1725 and is the oldest restaurant in the world according to the Guinness Book of World Records. You absolutely must have a reservation or you're never gonna get in. Hola. Hola. Hola, buenas tardes. Hola. Hola. They are famous for their cochinillo, which is their suckling pig, which is exactly why we're here today. The pig is cooked in its own broth and fat and juices, and then it is heated up in this wood-fired oven. It is incredibly tender and juicy with this unbelievably crispy skin. Chris and I ordered an entire pig, which is six portions. The server kept reminding us this is for six people, but being true carnivores, we decided to tackle it ourselves. The kids were brave enough to taste it, but Penelope got herself a New York strip and Nathaniel had some roasted chicken. I can't even relay to you on video how juicy this pork was and how absolutely crunchy that skin was. Chris and I have been trying to recreate something like this at home for years and we can't even come close to what they're able to do here. It's absolutely incredible. I'm sure the proper way is not to eat this and rip it apart with your bare hands like we were, but I felt like that was the true carnivore way of eating a whole pig. I ate the pig's ears, which were super crunchy and crispy, absolutely incredible. And Chris had the pig tail. He also ate the pig's cheeks, which is an absolute delicacy. It's some of the most tender meat on the pig. We did pretty good. It came with some potatoes and the kids had a few of those. And I would say of the six portions, the steak and the chicken, we ate like 90% of it as a family. Penelope ate most of that steak herself. We all left absolutely stuffed. It was an incredible meal, probably one of the most fun meals I've ever had in my life. And instead of taking the train back, we decided to take the long 45 minute walk back to our apartment and just enjoy this beautiful day together as a family. Thanks for tuning in to check out this very unique dining experience we had here in Madrid and subscribe for more content of our life here.